I went on Reddit and coded the most ridiculous ideas I could find. I'll post all of them and at the end of this video we'll see which one got the most upvotes. I wanna show you how you can very quickly in one afternoon build something that is very silly and fun. First idea, write a program that transforms your text to sound like you're mocking someone. Super easy, we'll just create a text area and a button. When the user clicks on it, it will transform the text into that mocked version. The mock version is pretty straightforward. All the odd letters will be capitalized and the rest will be lowercase. The result looks like this. But that's not silly enough. I'm not satisfied. I want to go further. I want to make a Chrome extension that allows us to use this mocking function on any website. Whether it's for a YouTube comment, an intense discussion on Discord, or to reply to your boss's email. Chrome extensions are basically regular web apps. The only difference is that they require a manifest.json file that contains the config for the extension. Let's write our manifest file. I'll give the extension permission to the context menu and set our script to run in the background. The reason for this is that it's actually not possible to modify the user input directly because what I wanted to do was to just make that the default on my keyboard so that anything I write is in that mocked version form. But since Chrome doesn't give you permission to alter the input, what we'll do is we'll allow the user to easily turn any text into its mocked version by just copying it. This is what the copy to clipboard function will do. I had to use a little hack because the copy function requires the exact text to appear on the page and to be selected, but we don't have that. So I'm just adding that mock text in an invisible element, I select it, copy, then delete that element forever. Now let's look at the demo. But quick pause, document.exec command used here is actually deprecated, it's not recommended to use that. I usually code with React so I use libraries to do those things, but with plain vanilla JavaScript the new way to copy to the clipboard is to use the navigator interface. Now let's test our extension on Reddit, the place that gave birth to this idea. I'll go somewhere where people ask questions. Ah, uh, perfect. What's a sign of extremely low intelligence? <laughs> well, maybe commenting like this. Let's go to YouTube now, pick a random video and uh, let's show someone. Great video. <laughs> oh man. We need to be careful with those powers. All right, us. my last one. I'll have to apologize after that. Next, a smart calculator that asks you a security question when you want to use it. But the trick is that the security question is actually the calculation you want to do itself. So that calculator is completely useless. It wants you to find the solution yourself before using it. We'll start by building a simple calculator. Millions of people have done this already, so there's no point starting from scratch for this video. I'll just search for something good. Um, yeah, this looks decent. Let's copy and paste. Now time to customize. Our calculator is a little bit of a prankster, so we'll throw an alert whenever someone wants to use it. If you look at the code, you see that the state is an object that has the sign, the current number typed, and the last result. Then if you scroll below, you see... Ah, there it is. The function called when you press the equals button. That's where we'll add our alert. Let's try it. Bam! Perfect. So the simple alert, we want to turn it into a model and obviously in the background, we want to lock the computation before the security question is answered. Yes, it's working. It's ugly though, I know, I'll fix the style right now. Check this out. Ta-da! You see the security question? It won't show you the result until you solve it. Um, um, actually wait, 90, 98 times 5, uh, let me try to open my other calculator. Bam, easy, you see? First try. Now it's time for an idea that probably exists in some kind of alternate universe to ours. The anti-ad blocker. We'll set up our Chrome extension the same way as we did before. We start with the manifest.json file, but this time we add a content script because we want to manipulate the DOM directly, we want to change the page itself. The challenge of this code is that in order to hide all the elements except the ads, we need a way to easily identify the ads, right? While I was browsing through several websites, I noticed that ads are mostly always inside iframes. So what if we just apply some basic CSS and blur all the elements except the iframes? Perfect, looks great on Yahoo. Now if I go on YouTube, oh, wait, this is an ad. It's not supposed to be hidden. Got it, I see the problem. It's not an iframe. YouTube doesn't put their ads in iframes, they have their own tagging system. 
All right, that's actually not complicated. I'll just select all of them and remove the blur. Perfectos. We can go further than this and only hide iframes that are not ads. Some of this code is a little bit hacky because there isn't a reliable way to identify those things, so I tried to come up with a very simple heuristic. If the element has an ID that has the keyword ad, then it's an ad, otherwise it's not. We could go a step further than this and listen to DOM changes. So whenever a new element is uh, added or is born on our page, unfortunately, if it's not lucky enough to be an ad, it will have to be discriminated and cast it away as one of those blurred elements. Okay, I'm done. I've blurred everything except the ads. But don't try this at home. But I will never publish this. This extension can never see the light of day. In the wrong hands, it's too dangerous. Let's see now who has been awarded as the most ridiculous idea. First one got 81 upvotes, the calculator got 19, and the anti-ad blocker got 79 upvotes. With a bunch of people commenting how genius it is. And now the winner of our competition is... It was pretty close to a draw actually, but the mocking extension takes the edge with two upvotes more. Those ideas are really silly. I don't spend all my time building silly ideas like that, and I'm sure this is not what you want too. That's why I spend time to search and find three startup ideas that solve real problems. I used brainstorming techniques from Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Peter Thiel. Check out the video.